this Pixlr tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a color pop in an image. So in this example, I have this pumpkin that is orange in contrast to all the other uh, colors in the um, image. But if I really wanted to make this pop, let me show you what I have. So this is after I've edited the image. So you can see everything except for the pumpkin is pretty black and white. So I'm going to go into uh, showing you how to do this. So I'll go ahead and delete this layer that has the edit in it and go ahead and uh, I'll show you what I did. So first you come over here to your uh, wand tool and you're gonna select everything that you want to uh, appear. So all the colors that you want to appear. Uh, right now my tolerance is set to uh, 30. I'm gonna be touching that tolerance a little bit as I go through. But so when I first selected, it obviously didn't select the whole pumpkin. What you can do is hold the shift key. You can see that I have that little uh, plus sign. When I hold the shift key right there, you can see a little plus sign on my wand. When, uh, when I let go of the shift key, it's not there. Also, the control key will have a minus sign. The, um, the, the plus sign, so if I'm holding that plus sign and I click on something else, it's not going to select something different. It's going to add to my selection. So um, you'll see me use that plus sign and that minus sign throughout. I'm going to kind of speed up while I'm selecting this pumpkin with uh, a, a few parts in between where I stop to kind of show you some tips and tricks while you're selecting. Okay, so you can see I have most of the pumpkin selected now, but there's still a few little parts that you can see all these little bits in here that are that are kind of shimmering. That's basically, those are little pieces of the pumpkin that I haven't selected. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using the wand tool for this part, I'm gonna come up here to the lasso tool and using the free hand, um, which is just the, uh, the, the default option. I'm gonna make sure I'm holding control, or excuse me, shift, so that plus sign is there, and then I'm gonna just draw. So you can see I drew a whole circle around there, got rid of most of what I didn't wanna get, uh, most of the pumpkin that I wanted to select. I'm gonna zoom in on this last little part to make sure I have um, most of, here we'll use the wand tool again, and oh, dang it. There we go, undo. Uh, make sure you're holding that shift key. That's what I did there. If you're not holding shift, then it will kind of ruin it for you. Um, so I'm just making sure I have everything in that pumpkin selected that I want. Um, and you can get really detailed here. I'm gonna come back here and uh, use my lasso tool again. And I think I have everything in the pumpkin that I want for the most part. Now you'll see there's a little bits of the stem that I have selected that I don't actually want this stem selected. So I'm gonna just hold the control key that will give me the minus and using that lasso tool, I'm gonna go around and remove. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and zoom back out and there's a few spots I might have to zoom in on. All right, so now I have most of my pumpkin selected, and it's not perfect. I could go in again and do a little bit more, but for our purpose, it kind of shows you what we're trying to do here. And uh, so now what I want to do is I want to make everything except for the pumpkin black and white. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll come right up here to my edit and I'll come down to invert selection. So I spent all that time selecting the pumpkin, even though that's not really what I want to make black and white. So I need to invert my selection. And what that will do is now it's selected everything but the pumpkin. And, you know, in doing that, I can see that there's a few spots that I missed I want to fix. And uh, now I'm going to make this black and white. So I'm going to come right up here to adjustment and then come to hue and saturation. And then to make this black and white, I'm gonna use the saturation bar right here and just drag it all the way down to the bottom and hit okay. And now if I deselect everything, you can see everything in my image has been turned to black and white except for that pumpkin. So that's kind of a, you can create an effect to have those colors pop out at you. Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.